What's up guys, it's your girl Honey and I am back with another video. The bull is at the gym right now. I just wanted to give you guys a little story time, what's been going on with us. A few days ago, Star was acting a little bit under the weather, like his nose was running a little bit and he was getting like crusties around his nose. And then I actually, where did I go? I went out for a little bit. Bull got him up from his nap and Bull called me and he's like, oh, I feel like he's not feeling well. And I was like, what's wrong? He's like, I'll tell you when you get home. So I get home, I'm like panicking, like worried. He has his shirt off and he's like, his body is like on fire. Like, I don't want him in his crib like that, overheating. And we don't even know that he's overheating. Like, I just feel like that's not good. So the nighttime comes, we put him in his crib and I was kind of like, I want to keep checking on him, you know? So and Bull's like, do you want to just bring him into the bed? And I was like, yes, I want to bring him into the bed. So we brought him into the bed and he was like, tossing and turning he was sitting up like falling back like and this whole time like he's like basically like asleep but he's like sitting up and then he's like he's on he fell asleep on bull and then he gets up and he comes over and like puts his head on me and then he's at the end of our end of the bed like and then he's at like in our faces and then he's like nuzzling up on us and it was crazy and then i was like okay let me just get his bottle this is like 2 a.m he was tossing and turning like the entire time from like 11 to 2 a.m just tossing and turning so he had his bottle and then i felt his body and again it was hot like i would feel his head but it wasn't that hot so i take his jammies off He's hot as shit and then he's up for about like 30 minutes and then finally he just fell asleep and he was out. That was the first time that we slept with him since he's been in his crib, so like months ago. So it was a pretty crazy experience. I don't know how people sleep with their kids. It was like crazy. I see what he does in his crib and he's like on one side and then he's like sitting up on the other side sleeping and then he's like, like on his knees but his like head is down. It's just, he's a wild child when he's sleeping. So then we get up, whatever, me and Bull, we're just like, okay, that was the, the worst sleep ever. We go throughout the day, and then at this point, I'm like not feeling that great. Like I'm starting to kind of like feel like my throat is sore. I don't know what's going on. And then throughout the night, I kept like waking up and I like had a sore throat. So I woke up at like 3 a.m. I think, and I like steamed up my bathroom and I just went into the bathtub and like my glands were swollen. Like it was just not a good time. I was sniffling, whatever. In the morning, I was like, no, guys, no. So Bull leaves for work. He leaves for work super early, like before I'm even up. Guys, I woke up. I could not even function. Like my head, felt like something was like on each side of it, just squeezing it together. Like I could hardly open my eyes. I had a horrible headache. I just felt so shit. I was so weak. Star was like heavy in my arms. I was not getting any milk out of my breast at all. So I'm like stressing. Oh my God, it was the worst time. I was trying so hard to just get it together. I couldn't even get myself up to make him food. I was just like giving him random things, like trying to like keep him fed. I put him back to bed at like, I think like seven or something. It took him so long to fall asleep. He fell asleep and then I took a nap. Woke up at like 8 a.m., 8.30. Still, I'm feeling horrible and I'm like texting like bull and I'm just like, oh my God, I can't do this right now. Like I literally cannot do this right now. He's like, do you want me to come home? like this that and I was like no taking care of a child when you are not well has to be top five one of the worst things to ever go through I was struggling I don't really ask for help if I'm asking you for help just know that I am in dire need of it stars up until maybe like 11 and I'm like okay it has to be nap time right now like mind you I'm getting no milk out of my boobs like I'm getting like one ounce total out of my boobs like at a time and i'm having to like just keep pumping keep pumping all i want to do right now is like lay down all i need to do is lay down and i have no medicine at the house nothing usually when i'm sick i don't take medicine but i'm like this time i have to like i have to get things done like i have to be a mom right now start in his crib crying would not go to sleep so i'm like okay all i need to do right now is lay down so i bring him into the bed with me put on his movie he's obsessed with happy feet and the secret life of pets right now put that on for him okay at first he was like laying on me and then i tried to adjust him and oh my god why did i do that i don't know he gets up and he's like wanting to do everything grab everything I'm like okay you have to go in your crib like you have to go in your crib so i go try to put him in his crib again and like at this point again he's not having any milk so it's like he's not satisfied king and also he didn't have breakfast. Like he didn't have a good breakfast. Like I gave him a little tiny muffin I made like the day before. That's not enough for him, okay? Especially if he has no milk. So I tried to put him in his crib, crying again. I just like let him cry it out a little bit. No, was not having it. Then I 
I was like, okay, you know what? I just have to put my big girl panties on and go to freaking Shoppers Drug Mart and get some medicine. I go and I get them in the car. I couldn't find my wallet. Guys, I was getting so frustrated. I was crying like the whole day. I was just getting so frustrated that I was just crying. And I was like, I can't do this right now. Like, this is so hard. We go to Shoppers. Star is crying the whole way in the car. I'm just like, Star, please stop. Like, please. Mommy's sick right now. Obviously, he can't understand me. And I'm just like... Oh my god, shout out to all of you because this is insane. If you're a mom, you're, you can't be sick. You can't be sick. So I go and I get my medicine. I'm like so sluggish going through this freaking store and I look like a bag of poop. We are on our way home. Star falls asleep and Shoppers is just up the street from me. I get him out. I quietly take him upstairs, put him in his crib bawling his eyeballs out I'm like oh my god and like the whole time at shoppers the whole way there i'm crying bull calls me i'm crying he's like what's wrong like i don't think he really understood the severity of it because i wasn't really vocalizing it like that so he was just like kind of shocked so whatever he canceled his appointments for the rest of the day I just came home now at this point i took my medicine and i was able to get a second wind here so i was like okay star you don't want to go to sleep let's go have some breakfast i made him some eggs I gave him some fruit. I filled his belly up. I gave him so much food because again, I can't get any milk. Through all of this, I'm still pumping and I'm getting like no milk. And I'm not talking like pumping in like 20 minutes. Like, no, I'm pumping for like an hour and a half, two hours. So I fill his belly up, whatever, Bull comes home and I'm still pumping. And then I just gave him a four ounce bottle. Whatever I pumped, I just gave him. He ended up falling asleep. I went upstairs and I took a nap. I think Bull actually took a nap too. He woke up 35 minutes later. You haven't slept since eight o'clock. He probably went down at, I would say four and woke up 30 minutes later. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I got this. Like I can, I can get through this. Most of the frustration was coming from the fact I had to pump the whole time that I'm like feeling like shit. Like it's like, I can't just lay down. Like I have to pump. I'm not getting any milk and I used up all my freezer storage. I just got a little too comfortable not pumping. I was pumping and then I put it down to like pumping like three times a day and then sometimes I would pump two times a day and then slowly my milk supply just started dropping and dropping and dropping. So then I had to go into my freezer storage. But anyways, my freezer storage is done. I didn't have any extra bottles. Like it's just, it's been a mess. I just wasn't being like super consistent like I was with pumping because I, again, I got comfortable and it's very, very hard to just pump up your life. You're just pumping constantly. Your whole life consists of pumping. And it's like, you always have to carry your cooler bag with you and always have to wash your part. Like, it's just a whole freaking situation. And then also, I tried my darndest to give Star my boob. And he was like, what the hell is this? Like, he didn't even know what to do with it. He didn't want it. He was not having it. I was like, if you can just drink out of my boob, like, we're laughing right now but no and like at one point he put his mouth on it and his teeth no i don't know how moms breastfeed if their kid has teeth like it was not comfortable at all that was my day yesterday pretty much after i took the medicine i was good my fever broke last night and now i kind of just have like a very sore throat and i'm a little bit congested and whatnot and i'm starting to have like a little bit of a cough but i don't know if it's covid i still haven't even taken a test but i think that covid is kind of the new cold, flu, whatever. But I am gonna take a test and I have a birthday party, a very important birthday party to go to on Saturday. So I'm like, I need to get better for that. So I'm just hoping that within the next couple days, I'm feeling 100% again. I feel so much better today. Like yesterday I was out for the count. A horrible, horrible day for me. I went to bed super early and I'm feeling a little bit more energized today. So that's good. Start sleeping. I pumped this morning. I pumped him his basically like eight ounces I pumped him. So that was very exciting. So I'm gonna just be pumping every two hours right now because I need to get this milk supply going again. So anyways, we'll, we'll be home soon. I'm gonna like give you guys a little update on what's going on, why we haven't been posting and stuff. Being sick when you have a kid, guys, no. It is just no, no. I don't even know. I don't know how people do it. I literally don't know how people do it. And if Star was feeling sick when I was sick and he was like whining and oh my God, it would have been a freaking shit show. It already was a shit show.